right. Shalom, shalom. We say call la la Allah know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. The one to my little pot square mills on rule well and teach well. Shalom. This is brother Kwan from the Great Millstone Dallas Camp coming at you tonight with a quick lesson. Lord willing, they be edifying to the lambs of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The first verse is First Corinthians chapter fifteen, and verse three. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Hamashiach died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. All right, according to the Scriptures, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, whom the world in the calls Jesus Christ, all right, he died for the sins of who? He died for the sins of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the Lord did not die for the for the whole world including you know heathen all right and the heathen would be your today would be uh your so-called white people your so-called chinese japanese africans um uh what's they called east indians yeah th those are not <laughs> those are not the lord's people man the lord's people are the so-called negro latinos and native americans man and he only loves and cares about them now, of course, we have been scattered amongst all nations, as a, as the curses um, says in Deuteronomy 28, and also throughout the scriptures in multiple verses throughout the scriptures, man. All right, that we was going to be scattered and pushed out of our land of Israel for our disobedience against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, First Corinthians 15 and 4, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Sophias, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once. All right, the brethren of whom Yahweh Shai, along with the twelve apostles, all right, those were brethren as well that the Lord was seen by, man. Okay. Of whom the greater part remain unto this present. All right, the greater part. Remain unto this present, even unto this day, man. Like he, that's why the script, the scriptures, the scriptures, a, as it says in Ecclesiastes, a, there's no new thing under the sun. All right, we we in this time all over again, man. All right, this is Rome 2.0. All right, so the of whom the greater part remain unto this day, all right, to this present day. OK, and right now, the, the greater part of the brethren that's out there on the highways and byways making these videos, preaching in the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai. But some are falling asleep. All right. But some are falling asleep. And what did it say before that comma? It said this present. OK. OK, so this brethren that's even to this day are standing on their feet, preaching in the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai, pushing his truth. And there are some up there in the heavens to this day. All right. And there's some brethren in this time period that died in this truth, man. All right. And they're up there in the heavens. But th before the throne of Yahweh Bashim Shai, praying unto Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, for the elect. And that's the gist of the lesson. Let's get revelations. Verse 6, I mean, it's chapter 6, I think it's around about verse 10. Yep, verse 9. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw unto the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High. All right? Those that were slain for the word of the Most High. The ones that's going to be martyrs, all right, within, in, in Jacob's trouble. Their souls is going to be before the before the throne of Yahweh Bashim Shai, along with those that had passed before then. All right. They're going to also be up there in the heavens. All right. Like they are right now, praying before Yahweh Bashim Shai, praying for the elect and praying for the end and the downfall of this wicked kingdom. man, eh? And for the testimony which they held. Verse 10. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, 
doest thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Hey, so as that said in verse 11, that they should rest for a little moment, man. So those ones that's up there in the heavens, they resting right now for that little moment. All right. Until the until that time comes where we all get delivered and we meet those ones that's in the heavens in the air when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns, man. Let's get that. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. And that word prevent, let's get it, is for, uh, it's lucky if I'm pronouncing it wrong, for thino, for thino, which means to be beforehand, all right? We are we we are not we they're going to get glorified and in those new bodies before we do, man. Those new bodies that's talked about in First Corinthians 15th chapter. OK, we're going to meet those those ones that's before the altar right now, even to this day. And at that time, OK, we're going to meet them in the air. Verse 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first, man. So those ones, that's those souls that's right there up there praying before you, how about Shem Shai, man? Hey, they going to rise first. You know, they going to be in those new bodies first. Verse 17. Then we, which are alive and remain, all right, within Jacob's trouble, those which us that's that are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And those clouds are talking about the chariots of, of Israel, man. What the world ignorantly calls UFOs. Okay. It says our Lord Yahweh Shah is gonna come on a big UFO, as it says in Second Edges 13 chapter. To meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words, man. Okay, you have spirits in the in the in the spirit world right now that is of the elect. Okay, praying to Yahweh Shai, and you have Yahweh Shai, which is the the only begotten Son of the Most High, which is our High Priest and our Mediator, according to Hebrews first fourth chapter. All right, in ninth chapter. Okay, and he's praying to the Heavenly Father for us, man. So those prayers are are being reached onto the to, onto the heavenly Father, man. And Lord willing, at that time, for the ones that sincerely believe, we shall be delivered, man, out of said troubles, out of that seven trump that is this thermonuclear destruction, man. Lord willing, Yahabashim Hashai Ratazai, man. Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to my elder apostle, Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Shalom. On to the next one.